Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. So we will continue our discussion with radar systems and engineering. And so far we have discussed the various uh, introductory concepts, the block diagram representation of radar. So in this video we are going to discuss about the various uh, configurations or uh, the ways in which we can classify the radar, you know the radar uh, uh, measuring process okay in terms of their uh, the the block diagram the elements of the radar so uh, in the introductory video we discuss that the radar is generally the basic classification is that it is of two types pulse type radar and continuous wave radar and then we further classified it into primary, secondary, uh, Doppler and frequency modulated radar. So here we are going to take that discussion a little bit forward and we will discuss about the other ways of classifying the radar system. Okay. So uh, radars can also be classified into the other ways, you know, categories such as the monostatic and bistatic radar, non-coherent and coherent radar, and pulsed and continuous wave radar, which is the basic way of classifying a radar, the most basic classification. So we did not discuss about monostatic, bistatic, and non-coherent coherent, and we just discussed uh, in short about pulsed and continuous wave radar. So in this video, we are going to discuss uh, these um, classifications in a good way. Okay, so first is monostatic and bistatic radar. Now we all discuss that uh, the various uh, the important elements in a radar system are uh, the antenna, okay, this transmitter, receiver, signal conditioning processing circuitry, display, the transmitter receiver switch, and the ant antenna. So the number of antenna that is used in the radar system can also define the radar you know uh, can also be a way of classifying the radar system so that is what happens in monostatic and bistatic radar so in monostatic radar only one antenna is there which acts as both the transmitter and receiver it, and it was that that we discussed in the basic block diagram and when one antenna is used I also said it there when one antenna is used and that is used as a transmitter and re receiver the monostatic configuration the TR switch transmitter receiver switch this block comes into play so this controls whether the antenna behaves as a transmitting antenna or a receiving antenna so in case of monostatic uh, configuration radar configuration only one antenna is used whereas in bistatic configuration two antennas are there one is connected to the transmitter block and only transmits the signal okay whereas the other only receives so here uh, i have made a mistake this arrowhead is actually outgoing okay i'm sorry this arrowhead is outgoing arrowhead okay this is uh, it is by mistake i have drawn it towards the transmitting antenna so please make a note here this arrowhead here is outgoing going away from this transmitting antenna this is correct the receiving antenna it receives the signal so by mistake i have drawn this arrowhead uh, towards this transmitting antenna for that i apologize so this and uh, this arrow is outgoing okay please this arrowhead should be here in this way towards the target away from this transmitting antenna so the main point here is that uh, the bistatic uh, configuration it uh, consists of two separate antennas one for transmitting means transmission of the radio frequency signals and another for the reception of the echo signals another uh, thing that can also make 
the monostatic and biostatic uh, radar is the separation distance between the two antennas suppose we have two antennas okay two separate antennas uh, but they the separation distance between them is very small they are located on the same structure then even though it, it has two separate antennas but it will be called as monostatic configuration because the separation distance is small so for a radar system to be called as biostatic it has to have two separate antennas and there must they, the, the, they must be separated by a very large distance only then it will be called as biostatic configuration in monostatic configuration this transmitter receiver switch comes into play okay so here again i repeat that this arrowhead is outgoing so the next way of classifying a radar is uh, the pulsed and continuous wave radar okay the pulsed radar it uh, it makes use of a very short radio frequency pulses square wave signals we can say uh, of duration in the order of microseconds okay and uh, there uh, th 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 there is a certain time interval that is left intentionally between the transmission of each pulse which is called as the gap or it is also called as the reception time during that period the transmitter is off and the receiver is on uh the continuous wave radar on the other hand continuously transmits signals okay without interruption whereas in pulse radar there is interruption the gap time interval but in continuous wave radar uh it continuously transmits signals and normally uh, the continuous wave uh, radar they make use of frequency modulated signals so also the continuous wave radars make use of biostatic configuration the pulse radars may uh, they mainly employ the monostatic configuration it is not compulsory but it happens most of the times so the continuous waves uh, it, it uh, we can take a basic simple example of sinusoidal signals they are frequency modulated of course but uh, the pulse radar they make use of pulse signals so the these pulses they are of very short duration of the order of microsecond as i said uh, in the uh, introductory video also and now and each pulse is separated by a certain fixed time interval which is called as the reception time this is the transmitting time this is the reception time and uh, the interval between each pulse is called as the pulse repetition interval and also the pulse repetition frequency is the reciprocal of the pulse repetition interval pri prf is the pulse repetition frequency so continuous wave radars make use of continuous signals generally frequency modulated uh, signals and pulse radar they make use of uh, radio frequency pulses okay so next is Uh, the non coherent and coherent radar configuration so the main uh, objective of using radars is uh, to get information about the range means the separation distance of the target from the source the elevation angle the Uh, azimuth the exact location in space so for that various parameters of the echo signal is analyzed and processed with, like we have discussed in the block diagram so various circuitry is involved in it to perform various mathematical calculations so non coherent radars they only detect the amplitude of the received echo signal okay only the amplitude so when only amplitude is detected then the amount of information that can be extracted from that signal it becomes very limited we can only know about very few information such as maybe the range or uh, an other detailed information about the elevation exact location in space 
the azimuth angle may not may or may not be detected it depends on the circuitry which is used coherent radars they detect both amplitude and phase of the echo signal in this case much more detailed information can be extracted about the target so we will discuss it how amplitude frequency phase all of these things impact the measurements of these things impact uh, how much information can be extracted so for now uh, I, to make you understand i uh, stressed upon those points okay so non coherent radars they detect only the amplitude of the echo signal coherent radars make use of both the amplitude and phase of the echo signal treating it as a vector quantity so uh, in this case the scope is more as more information can be extracted here the scope is limited okay so here we have discussed in a very quick way about the various uh, radar uh, configurations and we discussed about them uh, so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics instrumentation and communication engineering have a great day thank you very much